once upon a time, you see. In a strange land not far away, I met perchance a little bee. Upon a most unusual day. And when I asked her who she was, she told me, Maya, no other bee could ever be like Maya. Maya, why you question me? Why is no no answer for a bee? My, my, she's always in a pretty pickle, Maya. Helping someone else's little Maya. Maya, everyone loves Maya. Maya, 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 Maya come tell us what you see. Um, today's one of those days when there's just nothing for a bee to do. There's a column of fat bees flying past, but that's not so exciting. Yes, what help me, help doing? me. Quickie, Maya, help me get up. Maya, Maya! Oh, you gave me such a Messenger bees What's are that? coming. Look there! Something must have happened. Uh, 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 yes, something has happened. I'm flat on my face again. Does anyone know what's happening? Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Quiet, 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 quiet. Here with an important message to all inhabitants of the meadow. Her Royal Majesty, our Queen Beloved III, great and honourable ruler of the Kingdom of the Honeybees, will pay an official state visit to this meadow as part of her grand tour. Expected arrival tomorrow afternoon. It is hoped that the reception of the Queen will go off without any incidents. <clears throat> But, Maya, and all the rest of you, what are you doing just standing there? You heard the message, didn't you? Her Royal Highness is going to do us the great honour of visiting our meadow, and so we must do absolutely everything in our power to give her a fitting reception. Well, I think it's very strange of this beloved the third that she didn't even do us the honour of asking us if it suited us. I must say I agree. How can you say such revolutionary things? Beloved the Third is a blood relative of our own Queen, and our Queen always talks of her relatives with the greatest respect. So what do you say now? Uh, oh. uh, uh. The two of you come with me to the castle now. Our Queen wants to have a word with you. I oh, wonder what she wants. I trust you appreciate the high honour my great aunt is bestowing on you in visiting the meadow. Take a look at the statue of her over there. She has the presence and bearing of the Queen. Beloved the Third is a courageous Queen as well. She defended the kingdom of honeybees against the invasion of wasps. She's also extremely elegant. So make sure that she receives a fitting reception and leaves nothing to chance. I appoint you, Maya, chairman of the reception committee. Who, oh, me, chairman of a committee? And you will help Maya Willie see that the celebration is a total success. Understood? Yes, ma'am. We are confident that you will do your best. Yes, yes Your Majesty, Majesty, you have, have our word that we will carry out your instructions, instructions to the very letter. And that is why the reception for Beloved the Third has to be such a resounding success. Understood? So everyone must help. What really is at stake here is the honour of the host. Leave it to us. Don't worry about a thing. We'll give her such a reception that the dear lady will wish this was where she lived and not in her palace. Yeah, and I will put my great organisational talents and experience at your disposal. In those days when I lived in London, I often saw royalty and the retinue pass by. And now at last, I have the chance to function at my true cultural level. Don't make me laugh, you and your cultural level. I will make music for Her Majesty that will cause heaven to laugh and the stars to weep. No, please don't. Stop. No, stop. Please don't play. I resign as a member of the reception committee. 
All right, then you're responsible for cleaning the meadow and fit for getting artists for the entertainment program. Alexander, you get the cakes and refreshments, and the ants, you'll form the guard of honour at the reception. Everyone else to obey the orders of the appointed officials. I'll get on at once with the drawing up of the menus. Uh, Mrs Effie and Mr Kurt, will you help me? Yes, with pleasure. Well, I'll start work at once as well. All singers and dancers who feel they have the qualifications come to me for auditions. Hey! Hey! Flip! Hey. Flip! Wait, I'm coming with you! Yee-hoo! Well, I've been stuck with it again. I'm the street sweeper. What can you do? Is there anyone who's prepared to help me, please? Well, I do. The children can help as well. Oh, um. marvellous. Then we can start right away by collecting all the fallen leaves. Quick march, everybody into the trees. The meadow is going to be swept. Look at that. He's enjoying it. And we'll begin immediately rehearsing the duties of the Guard of Honour. Attention! Right turn! In single file! March! Halt! At least I can report to Miss Cassandra almost everybody's gone to work with great enthusiasm. Now make sure Her Majesty has a nice soft bed to sleep on and no cold drafts either. Don't forget the flowers. What to do next? Miss Cassandra! Yes, Maya, what is it? Now, Maya, remember to go over the lists I've given you and check point by point that everything's been done. Yes, yes, of course I will. We want to carry out this important task honourably in every little detail. I understand. Well, I'll get back to the field. Mm -hmm. This is a gigantic task that Miss Cassandra has asked us to undertake. Winnie, what are we going to do with all uh, these leaves and dirt? Uh, let's see now. Uh, huh, over there in that hole, that'll take the lot. What do you think you're doing? Get rid of your rubbish somewhere else. What's a cheek you got? Dumping everything you don't want into somebody else's home, huh? We'll have to find somewhere else to dump it. Will you go on, explain it all to him. Well, you see, it was like this. It was really an accident. What's the matter? Why, there's trouble here. It really isn't Willie's fault. I was the one who told him he had to clean up around here. That doesn't excuse them. Perhaps you haven't heard yet. The reason we're so busy cleaning up is because Queen Beloved is going to pay us a state visit. We didn't mean anything bad. We just saw that hole there, and so we thought that... Uh, That's oh. not a hole. That's my house. And such a nice house. You can see straight away that someone with taste lives there. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it was just one of those things. Now, see that you clean up properly. We will. <coughs> Here's your broom. You'll just have to start all over again. Uh, what, the whole lot again? And hurry. We've got no time mm. to waste. Mm. <laughs> right, and what are we going to do with it this time, I ask you? Let's see. What about there, behind those plants? You people are really lucky that I'm such a good sweeper. Finished already. Aren't we good? Oh, the roses are all dirty now. You'll have to give them a dusting, Willie. I think they look very pretty the way they are. But you're just a simple honeybee, Willie. You mustn't forget Her Majesty will have different ideas. All right, then I'll give them a dusting. <laughs> Right, now to see what Alexander's making. Mm, 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 mm. Mm? A Soltacon march on an empty tummy. Wee! Mm, mm, mm. Well, Alexander, how are you doing? You've arrived at exactly the right time. I've just baked some lovely cheesecake. Oh, that looks good. And you may try some with pleasure. Tomorrow I'll make a much bigger one for Her Majesty. Mmm, mmm. Mm, it's not really very sweet, is it? Yes, yeah, so one needs more honey for it than I thought. Would you be able to get some for me? You can fetch as much as you like from the storerooms in the castle. Yes, you can. Miss Cassandra has just told me we can take as much as necessary for the reception. Then my troubles are over. Effie, Kurt, come over here for a moment. Look, Alexander, the dough's ready for the cake, you see. Just a minute, just a minute. What did you say? You told us to knead the dough for the cheesecake. So we needed it in the only way we know how. For heaven's sake, you don't make a dung ball out of a cheesecake dough. You mean that's supposed to be the dough for the cheesecake? Yes, of course. Now all we can do is throw it away. Now go to the castle and collect. Honey. What, all the way to the castle? That's a very long way. Mm, 
That is an order from your chef. Now go immediately. I don't think you should be so strict with them, Alexander. A cheesecake is a work of art. I've got to be hard on them. Oh, well, perhaps you're right. Oh, I better go and see how Flip is getting on with the dancers and singers. Ta -dum -tum. Dum -tum -ta -dum -tum. Oh, I can't get it. I just can't get it. Oh, I always lose the beat. No, I'm giving it up. What's the point in being so persistent? Come on, Carlos. Give it one more try. But, Maya, I've been trying for two solid hours already. So why do you think it isn't working? You try and dance with a thousand feet. And a Spanish flamenco at that. These damn feet keep getting tangled up in each other. Well, there's absolutely no point in my going to flip for an audition. But, Carlos, this is your opportunity to dance in front of a real royal queen, remember? So what am I going to do? Gather all your courage and go to the audition. All right, I will. You see, a little encouragement always works wonders. That's where Flip's holding the auditions. I must see how they're going. Thank you, thank you. Enough, Madam Butterfly. You've been engaged. Hello, Flip. How are you getting on I'm here? making progress. I think we're going to have a beautiful program. You've just seen Madam Butterfly's lovely dance, and now let's have Clotilda's coloratura again. <laughs> Perfect. And now little Sonny's welcome speech once more. It is a very great honour for all we insects here in the meadow to... Uh, to... Uh, to... Uh, to welcome your majesty to, to our home today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flip, I must say that what we've seen up to now is extremely good. What's the next number to be? Me and my violin solo, of course, and you've kept me waiting long enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Maya, will you please tell me it's quite out of the question. No, I think Thekla is one of us and should also take part. Thanks, child. You're a true connoisseur of music. It's been decided that everybody takes part. You heard, Carlos, so what are you waiting for? Hmm? The trouble is I've got no self-confidence when I think I've got to dance before Her Majesty. Oh, come on. Just begin. In any case, you've still got time to practice tomorrow. All right, let's go. I'll give my very best performance. Before his feet get all tangled up again, I think I'll go and inspect the ants. Section, attention, present arms. If you please, Your Majesty. <laughs> it's just as if I were the queen. My colonel, is it time to fire the practice salute? Yes, fire the practice salute. The ceremony will be a success. I am told that the preparations for the welcome ceremony are proceeding beautifully, little Maya. With Maya in charge, I didn't expect anything else. Everybody cooperated very well and worked hard. Then the day is bound to go off well. I can tell you that it is a great relief for me because our ruler is an extremely correct, if not to say a fussy and pedantic lady. nervous when I think about tomorrow, but I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, I'm just as tired as Willy. Maya! Maya, where are you? Do wake up, Maya, my dear child. Maya, can't you hear me? Oh, sorry, I was sleeping so deeply. What's happening? Queen Beloved III and her retinue are arriving earlier than planned. That means the welcoming ceremony must be prepared at once. Get oh, ready. Oh, dear, now we're in the soup. Willie, Willie, wake up, wake up. <laughs> mm, 
it seems to me that she's just upsetting the timetable on purpose. Queen can do that. Stop complaining. Tell me, did you dust all the roses yesterday? There they are. See for yourself. I polished them until they were shining. Oh, yes, they're lovely. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Willie. Those are early birds, aren't they? That's good. We won't have to wake them. Everything's been put forward. Thunder? Come here. Your mother will protect you. Maya, I've done it. Watch me. Hey. Holy. 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 Oh, Carlos, so who was right there? You, hmm? of course, but I also practiced every day. Now, just make sure you never lose your self confidence again. The glow worm's lighting effects are truly marvelous. No, it's lightning, Carlos. There's a storm coming. Let's see how Alexander's doing with the baking. That looks wonderful! Morning, Maya. Thanks to the honey from the castle, the taste is now unbeatable. Oh! Oh, that's all we needed. I just knew it would start raining. Quick, let's get the cake inside. much longer, everything will be flooded out. Then my cake will end up the star of the show. Am I just imagining it? Or is it beginning to rain a little less? No, I'm right. It'll stop any minute. The sky is still very dark, though. Question, Maya, how can you? And besides, Her Majesty's here already. What? Yes, she is. Any minute now, and you'll be able to see her for yourself. Thank you for your visit. What are you waiting for? Begin! We will now begin the welcoming ceremony for Her Majesty the Queen! Trumpeters, forward and blow! Take their places for the royal procession. <coughs> Your Majesty, would you kindly lead the procession? Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. If you please, Mom. What do you think you're doing? Come with me. Just ignore him. Ah! Ah! That looks so funny. Quickly, all artists on the stage, by our hurry. They're standing by. We've taken the liberty of preparing a program for your majesty. Incidentally, that little bee is one of my pupils. I am calm. I am quite calm. <sighs> we move on now to our variety program, which is presented in your majesty's honor, and we hope you will find it entertaining. Oh dear. Come on, Sonny, it's your turn now with your speech of welcome. So it is. Welcome to our meadow, Your Majesty. It is a great honor for us. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh. Yes, it's beautiful weather today. Your Majesty, just as beautiful as you. Oh, no! And now for our pride and joy, the flower of our field, Madam Butterfly. Lights! <coughs> What 
Madam Butterfly, you're all covered in mud. I know, I fell in a deep puddle. Oh, no. Well, at least start your dance now. Music, please. Some refreshments. I forgot. Would your majesty like to take a sip of honey? And while we eat, ladies and gentlemen, a Spanish flamenco. Olé! 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 That's typical of you, you Spanish olé, monkey! Olé. Olé, 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 Is it all right if I serve you now? Yes, quickly, maybe it'll save the day. My masterpiece that I spent so much time on. It makes me sick! I wonder if there's anything else that can go wrong. Stop! What are you doing? Yes, everyone! Stop! Oh, will you please forgive us, Your Majesty? I can understand you must be angry, but. <laughs> Never had so much fun in my life. Just to see his face is worth at least five pots of honey to me. <laughs> oh dear, what's that? What's going on? I do hope I didn't faint, that's all. I can't stand these formal ceremonies I have to attend. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd be furious. Don't you believe it? I've never enjoyed myself as much as today. As the saying goes, all's well that ends well. Just what I say. <laughs> <clears throat> I would now like to propose a toast to Your Majesty, Queen of the Honeybees. To Your Majesty's good health. <laughs> 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 